And then to make matters worse, we've still got cardio to do. I only got 20 minutes. But we're getting it done. It's got to be done, baby. It's got to be done. It's a revolution. Boys and girls, what's good and welcome back to another video and as I started my day off with my breakfast we just had my standard bowl of oats, I had 70 grams in there with this I had my lovely, lovely frozen blueberries blueberries and of course my two scoops of whey protein if you've seen the previous video you'll notice that lately I've been having a craving for some caramel for some reason I hate caramel, there's something about caramel I never ever liked, it was just as growing up as a kid, it just always made me feel sick. The same as butter. Anything like butter, caramel, stuff like that. As soon as I put that texture in my mouth, I just wanted to vomit and throw it up. So I've never ever liked caramel. For, so for me, buying two packs of caramel flavoured uh, protein is pretty bizarre, but it's unreal how much I'm liking it at the moment. I'm using the chocolate caramel flavour at the moment. I've used two scoops of that. So that's my breakfast. I've got that in. I've got loads to sort out this morning. I've got a new video that would be going up. Well, it would be up before you've seen this video, so check that out anyway, the link in the description to see that video. I've got so much more to get on and crack on, so I'm going to get on get on with that. Also, I need a haircut because I'm looking like a hobo, and I need to be presentable for you guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so literally been non-stop this morning, running around, running some errands and that, but at the moment, I could not be more blessed about life. So many things are falling into place, big things are happening, and I'm just really excited for some of those things. Big things coming for 2017, but I'm not going to reveal nothing just yet for you guys. That's a bit hush-hush at the moment, but so many things are going on, and I'm just, you know, really enjoying life, enjoying every single day at the moment. It's just coming up to 5 past 10 now. While I was out, I spoke to my mate, and I said, look, I'm driving past the gym. I may as well get a uh, session in, on my way home. There's no point in me stopping off and getting back home um, and doing another bit. So I'm going to train now. Lucky enough, I had my gym stuff on me, and also my pre-workout, which was, you know, blessed. Um, so... I've got the Dust V2 in there. I haven't got no Vascomax V2, so a bit gutted about that. But hopefully, when I head down to Storm Sports next weekend, um, yeah, it should be next weekend, I'll be down there. Hopefully, he may have some still. But like I said in a previous video, they are stopping the Vascomax V2 at the moment because they are working on a V3. Again, I can't reveal nothing because I don't know nothing. And I don't think he knows anything, uh, any great detail yet about that either. So, have no Vascomax V2 at the moment, can't order none, so I'm having to stick with just a Dust V2. It's pretty early, so that's why I'm going to get some caffeine now. And we're going to hit uh, a back workout, and then hopefully I'm going to come back up for another session later on tonight and do shoulders, because I haven't fitted in shoulders this week, um, and I need to get them in because it's Saturday today. We've got Sunday tomorrow, which is a chest um, bicep workout, no, chest and tricep workout, and then that's pretty much it for the week. So I want to get shoulders in somewhere, so I thought... If I get the workout now, I can come back later on tonight and then do the shoulder workout and get everything in that I needed to do. So it's literally been that mad that I've been unable to fit in all my body parts for the whole week. But like I said, I'm enjoying every minute. So anyway, I'm going to go in now. I'm going to get that done. But it's literally just going to be an in and out thing. So I'm not going to record nothing. So I'm going to go in now and get that done. And then I'll probably catch you guys when I'm back here in the car and all sweaty head to toe as usual. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace, y'all. Wow, now that was a back workout and a half. Just finished off back, back in the car now. It's just come up to 12 o'clock. I need to get home and get some food in me because I've only got one meal in me and I'm absolutely starving. But that back workout was 
unbelievable. Great back workout today. I shot everything on my Snapchat, so if you're not following me on there, why why are you not following me on there? You are missing out on so much. You need to be following me on there. So go check it out. Make sure you do follow me on there. You are probably already missed out all the back workout footage because time you watch this, it'll be all gone. But for next time, make sure you follow me on there. But anyway, we went on the deadlifts today, and again, trying to do the five sets of five. Worked up to 220 again, but we couldn't get it. My last back workout was on Wednesday, so my back's probably still beat from then. And it's probably just telling me, you just can't do it. So we done first attempt on 220. We got halfway up and then just couldn't do any more. It got stuck and then had to drop it. Then took a bit of a breather, then went back to try and attempt it again. That time, I was just stiff. It just didn't go anywhere. So... Come away from 220, went back to 180, done five sets, uh, no, five reps on that. Then we dropped down again to 160 and then done another two sets for five reps on there as well. So kind of went a little bit lighter on the weights and just trying to get the reps in, but sticking to the five sets of five. At the moment, the five sets of five is just really working for me. But like I said, my back's probably still beat from Wednesday. It's Saturday. It's not really enough time for me to recover from that 220 on the Wednesday. So other than that, just hit a lot of hypertrophy exercise as well, get some reps in, get some volume blood in there and my back is destroyed but like i said i'm just gonna head back home now it's just gone 12 o'clock um haven't ate since eight so it's been about four hours but i've been sipping my amino acids during the workout which i always do anyway so i've got some good amino acids and uh, leucine in me to keep me recovered and repairing all the muscles but other than that i'm gonna get back home because this car is steaming up as well i'm absolutely sweating i'm always sweating how comes i don't know why but i'm always the sweatiest guy in the gym does this mean I'm just gross, or am I the hardest work in the gym? Alright guys, so as you saw there, I had my post-workout shake as soon as I got back home. Just my oats, banana and two scoops of the whey protein. Then I had a shower and then an hour passed, I have my post-workout meal now. That's just the white rice, some chicken, broccoli and some peanut butter. And of course I've got my sea salt on there. That's pretty much it, I'm going to dig into that. Then uh, I've just got a few things to go over, like say um, editing, I've got to check over and some emails, that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully then going to get napping because I say later on I'm going to be doing shoulders so I want to try and um, get some sleep in before I do that. I only got about 6 hours sleep last night, um, obviously that's quite a bit for me but still feeling quite tired. So I want to try and get a little nap in as I can before I train shoulders tonight um, and also trying to increase my food a bit today normally uh my carbs are around about 300 at the moment fats about 80 to 90 grams and proteins about 300 as well but because we're doing a double split today i'm going to probably increase my calories just a little bit more so i've got enough energy in me to get through the shoulder workout as well so probably going to push my carbs up maybe to about 400 grams to see how i feel throughout the day and that but i'm not going to go too mental i'm not pushing them up like Double um, the the cal uh, carbohydrates and that, so I'm just gonna see how I feel having that. Wake up if I still feel a bit low in energy and tired and that, I'll boost up my carbs a bit. But I'm gonna dig into this now because it is looking quite tasty and it's just saying to me, eat me, eat me now. And I'll catch you guys on the next meal. Peace. Yeah. Just woken up from a nap, had to sleep for about an hour and feeling a lot fresher, even though my lower back is killing like hell. But like I say, it's just coming up to seven o'clock now. I'm gonna get another bit of food in before I go back up and train shoulders. I've just smashed myself up some sweet potato and some eggs. I've got four egg whites with two whole eggs there. That's gonna be pretty much it. I'm gonna get that down me. Then maybe get another coffee in me, just sort of liven me up a bit before we go do shoulders. But that's pretty much it. I'm just blessed to have that sleep, you know. Normally I never get any naps during the day, but even if I do, I just never be able to get a consistent like four hour sleep or so. It's just kind of like broke up in between 10, 15 minutes. So that four hour was blessed. So that's pretty much good for news. I'm going to get that food. Damn. You guys noticed I didn't get my hair cut. 
didn't have time to get that in today, but my barbers are open on a Sunday, so I'm going to go down there and get it done tomorrow. So apologies for looking like a bum for you guys, but just haven't got the time. Haven't got the time. But I'm going to dig into that, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. guys so it's just coming up to quarter past nine now finished up shoulders a total of just over an hour to hit the shoulders like i said not going mad today because obviously we're doing a split done back this morning went really heavy with that i don't want to be burning up too much energy so we went light just over an hour great pump just getting pure volume in there now just going to finish off with a 20 minute cardio normally i do about 30 minutes um, obviously I've increased from when I started I was just doing 20 minutes but I'm now on 30 minutes but today I'm just gonna go to 20 minutes because I say we're done two workouts today I'm completely beat tired and I don't want to burn out completely so just doing that I'm gonna get back home get a shake in and then get one more meal in that's gonna be it for tonight but yeah getting it done absolutely pumped up the shoulders today I completely forgot again once again to weigh myself this morning so i'm going to weigh myself tomorrow and i'll put that up on my snapchat so if you ain't following me on snapchat make sure you do that way you can see my weight last time i weighed in last week i was 219 if i had a guess i'll probably be about 218 try to shoot some footage of my physique at the moment but the lighting was just poor and also i'm training on my own tonight so no one with me to be able to film for me so i had to try and find the lighting hold the camera do it all myself so it was just no point but in my own opinion doing well obviously still pretty fluffy in some areas but can definitely see areas improving coming in a little bit tighter but again there's a difference between getting lean and getting shredded the goal is just to get a little bit lean if anything it's just a deload from the calories so I'm not going for a shredded look. I'm not trying to go down to 6% body fat. I'm just trying to get a little bit leaner, bring out a bit more vascularity, lose a few pounds, that's simply it. But what I'll do is I'll get some physique shots and I'll post it on my Instagram as well. So if you ain't following me on there as well, follow me on there and you can see how the progress is going. But I'm out of breath as you can tell. I'm gonna get this cardio done. I've only done five minutes, so wish me luck and I'll see you back at home. Wow, so it has been a very long, long day, but also a productive and good day today. Just finished off that shoulder workout, got home, got changed, feeling all refreshed. I think that pre-workout was still kind of kicked in, so it's going to be a pretty long night for me. So it's just coming up to half ten now. I'm going to give it about half hour or so, and then I'm going to get my next meal in. I had my post-workout shake soon as I got back from the uh, gym. It was the same as my post-workout shake from the back workout. But the back workout, I had 100 grams of oats. This one, I just had 50 grams, but everything else was pretty much the same. Had that, like I said, now I've got an hour. Give it half a, half hour or so, then I'm going to have my next meal. As you saw, I've got my leftover brown rice, which I cooked the other day. And also that chicken that I'm just cooking now with some onions on there. And as you saw earlier, was my Snapchat. If you are not following me on there, make sure you do. I can't stress enough, it keeps you up to date on all the YouTube videos when they're posted, etc. Make sure you just follow me on there. And also... Follow me on all my other social links, 
Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So go check me out on there. And also guys, I've just realized I've nearly approached 300 subscribers. So I got to thinking, why not celebrate 300 subscribers? So get subscribing and when I hit 300, I will do an eating challenge to celebrate hitting that 300 subscribers. So what you guys need to do is share with your friends. Share on Facebook, share on Twitter. Get my channel out there and make sure people subscribe. If you're new and watching this, also subscribe and click that button. It's somewhere on your screen, so make sure you click it. So 300 subscribers, eating challenge. I wanna know your suggestions and what you wanna see on that eating challenge as well. Write in the comments down below. I'm open to any suggestions. Go. Other than that, that's pretty much for this video. And don't forget to check out the previous video, which is just over there. The link is in the description. Make sure you check out that one. Give it a big thumbs up. Like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. Make it happen.